OMG, a hit weekly. I'm not just saying this weekly is good because I'm doing well in it. I'm saying this weekly is good because there's fun animals. And it seems like the frilled dragon is not good. The frilled dragon not being good. Be a jolly ranger. Oh, but the creamy legs though. Who can say no? I'm talking about when you get a chicken leg and a chicken cacciatore. You guys, honestly, like, I don't know why you always try to make everything so PG-18. Anyway. I think, I also, I take the frog. I think the frog is not always an auto-take. Sure, why not? But, sure, sure, why? I think it's not always an auto-take. But I think if you get it on your first shop, you take it just because it enables some fun. This strikes me as a draw. Let's, no, this strikes me as a win, baby! It's a race and I'm winning. Hold on. It enables some fun-based gameplay. So no early levels, no early ladybug. I mean, this, that's not early enough. We roll, and you know what? It's pug life. From this point forward, it's pug life. All, uh, pug Peacock actually seems like the play to me. And we can make it happen, because we can do a cell, and a cell, and a cell, and then you take Pug and Peacock. We want Pug here. So the frog is kind of in a weird spot. Well, no, we don't care where the pug is right now, quite honestly. It should probably just... No, it should buff the peacock. The peacock will, could easily become our best unit. You guys are swapping stats. I would say I don't respect that, so I'm going to move you back a little bit. Now you guys are swapping stats. That's even worse. I'm going to make you our backline unit. That's a sign that we're going to sell this frog ASAP. So we're going to try to basically like cheese our way to a level 2 peacock early, which is one of the best ways that you can... One of the best units for getting ill-gotten stats. Surprised, honestly, that that one went as smoothly as it did. For now, I think this is a sell me, buy me, and we'll we'll add some... I was just going to say we add you later, but I think we're going to add you right now. <laughs> I think we're going to add you right now. Now, I want to buff you. I want you to have garlic, but I also want to buff you. <clears throat> I think a sheep... I, wait, there's hippos in the pack. As long as we sell a sheep, we can go off. But I do want to buff our peacock ASAP. And it's not gonna be uh it's not gonna be a croissant. It's gonna be garlic plus scaling foods. It's insane that we trade with you. Like insanely good for us. And the sheep is gonna do some good stuff. Though I'm feeling like I gotta I got the inside line on the pulse this week. Is that what people say? Is that a thing people say? We should just go level two peacock. Our pug is still providing a two two buff. Okay, you're gone. You're on the squad now. Congratulations. The scaling's gonna be a little wonky, but like, compared to the scaling of our opponents, which might be nil, we should take you as a level opportunity, I think. Thank you, thank you. The, I, I would rather get dragonfly buff than like sheep buff, but I'm still pleased. You gotta love it. You absolutely have to love it. Contractually speaking, you gotta love it. Okay, we got a good line here, okay? This is solid. I think we would love <clears throat> to add a giraffe. Start me here. I don't know. I feel like that was one gold wasted, maybe. But then we can have a giraffe for scaling. And if the giraffe gets a buff, then fantastic. A peacock, garlic, or a buffing food. Another giraffe. Honestly, to get a giraffe to level two would kind of pop off. I don't really think we need our sheep to get another level now that I think about it. We get a pug and a sheep buff. I don't know, maybe we do want our sheep to pop off because it's buffing as well. We need that garlic yesterday. This might be our first loss here. It's going to be our first loss. Strong, very good kangaroo. Good positioning as well. I feel like I lost some of my momentum. We were cruising and now the cruising has slowed down a little bit. This is important. The pug actually might be important, but we're gonna go giraffe first. 
And then we're going to go Lion after. Maybe Lion seems like the, the most logical pivot in the game right now. Okay. So we'd love to have a level 3 Peacock or a level 3 Pug. We don't need both, but now we have a level 3 Peacock in battle. But we need it in the shop in order to help the Dragonfly distribute its buffs properly. We're going to be fine. <clears throat> this, is no, this is a non-issue. We only had three units remaining when we won. We could work on that a little bit. Forget about the pug. The peacock's getting to level three. The pug might be sellable in the future here. Not yet, but soon. First, you're going to go. First, you're going to go. Even though you're a 5-5, five, five, because you're a 9-9. Nine, nine. And we can now focus our, our attribute buffs on you, hopefully. You're going to take one of these. I'm not freezing an apple at this stage of my life. It's just not going to happen. It's tempting to, like... Get ready to fit a kangaroo in, but I'm just, I'm not sure it's there yet. We're going to pivot at some point. Our health is looking good. I think you take the L on that one and you go for a can. Now, I, I need to get the lion in on this buff, but that requires us to get a natural level three peacock first, I think. Saved. Insanely saved. More saved than I've ever been in my entire life. Luckiest bat of all time. Foxy Boxing, honestly, you should have beaten me on that one. You lost to Bad RNG. We need a chocolate or a peacock. Then we can... Oh, you're 12 11. But I need the lion to receive the buffs because it... I don't know. I got to think about it, okay? You need the buffs. You're, you're a, a double scaler. You hitting level two would also be sick. No chocolate. I accept this. I just give you more buffs. Now you're a 15-15. I really like having a level 3 peacock out there. What have you sold? This is a strong team, man. It's a strong team. It's stronger than me. It's substantially stronger than me. We gotta find a way to get more juice out of the orange. I don't know if a level 2 dragonfly is going to do it, honestly. What about two dragonflies and sell a giraffe? It's the same number of buffs. <laughs> I just thought about it for a second and I was like, that's the same number of buffs. Okay, now you level up. I can't buy you. That's fine. You leave. I know how bad this looks. But you're no longer giving us a... No, you... I could have had you buff the lion. I could have had this like 10 stat points. Jerry! Roll me. Okay, not just not a smart move, but at least we fixed that part. We're going to put garlic on you. We're going to level up our dragonfly next turn. And um, we're possibly going to try to squeeze a kangaroo out here. Look at that. We, I know all those triggers were for 1-1, one, one, but man, there were so many of them. We, we must be pogging. Oh, okay, you killed my dragonfly. I sleep. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Okay? Or maybe we just played someone who had a parrot behind a lioness for some reason. I don't know. The jury's out. But this is good. Can't take you. I do want to keep buffing the... It's, I got to find a unit to fit in there. You know what? The kangaroo can do something. Freeze me. I think the... Call me crazy on this one. I think the kangaroo beats the bison. But we have to... It does take one stat point away from the peacock every turn. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm disappointed, but we need the kangaroo to come in behind the lion. Lion's going to be like a 27-27 garlic. The kangaroo has a small chance to pop. That weakness is very unfortunate, but I also, I just love having a, a peacock because it just crushed here. Okay, we didn't need the kangaroo, but it got us there. I think we still buff you. I think we still buff you. You're not maxed yet because you're only level one. <sighs> to be honest with you, you're giving a two, two buffs per turn. Another dragonfly would give three, three. And we'll put you in the crocodile snipe position. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm probably disrespecting pizza a little bit here, I'll admit. And look at how many triggers we get. How, how could that be bad? I lived. When you trade 1v1 with a hippo, you're feeling great. We also just beat a team with two cats. We also just beat a team with two cats and a hippo. We also just beat a team with two cats and a hippo that has winning in their name. I'm feeling like I'm on cloud nine. 
two level two dragonflies. I can't take you. <laughs> um, can I tell you something? I just I'm doing this just because I think it would be really funny to lose to the team that we're fielding right now, and to have this be on our win screen. I think this would just this would be a screenshot I would feel comfortable sharing. Okay, this team is going to destroy me. <laughs> um. Turns out three cats, that's a magical number. We still got a chance here. The kangaroo would not have saved us. Go ahead. Plus 50%. You're basically maxed. You go ahead. I'm going to say go ahead again. You know what? Maybe I'm actually going to say go ahead, take a garlic here. Maybe we draw. Probably not, though. I'm going to say go ahead and take some garlic. I think we can't win. I'm looking at the squad and I'm saying to myself, a win seems impossible. But it, it just happened! <laughs> Never mind. Print screen! Doop. If you don't mind, what are the Ooh, little beep. Okay. We'll just save that in the old, uh, in the old quick bar. I'm a little surprised that that, that worked, but that's going to make a very funny one in the Hall of Fame. I'm adding that to my cringe collection. Save decent foods. Oh. Oh, yes. I'll just buy a duck. It's just good stats. I think with a ladybug... be a suspicious ice cube. I think with a ladybug... Um, you buy ladybug and then you buy the foods next round. At least round one. I think you buy round one and ex accept that you might lose because you got low stats. Then you add foods after. Could be wrong. You may disagree. I don't mind this. You buy a ladybug. You buy food. Then you purchase a beetle. I'm going to say we might purchase a duck too. Because the dragonfly has been kind of sick. Levels are valuable. Getting units off of level one in case a dragonfly shows up later, it's, it's proved to be effective for us. I'm telling you, I am... And I ran the dragons myself, but I am loving feasting on the frilled dragons because there's only one uh, faint trigger right now. I am living for it. You know what? I've decided I don't care about you that much. I've decided I will roll. And I, I just for convenience's sake, I think I could throw a quick bat out here. I think I could hit you with one of those. I think I could hit you with one of these. And then I think I would, I would put these two on top of each other and just add a bat to the back and be relatively comfortable running one strong unit. A bat's just good. And I really, I, I feel like the ladybugs are like a life hack, man. You never want to buy food early most of the time because you're like, oh, it's so expensive. But then you buy the food early and it gives you a better chance of winning that very round as well. So here's what I'm thinking right now. Obviously, you're gone. Obviously, you're coming in. And obviously, like, probably you're coming in. And then we got a 2-8 Peacock. Probably go for a level next time. Peacock does not need croissant. I don't think you need Elephant Peacock. I think you'd rather get the trigger from... You'd rather outscale the enemies and use the enemies as the trigger. That seems good. In fact, this seems... It, it, it seems fantastic. Team name order. I would say the same to you, good sir. I would say the same to you. You're a gentleman and a scholar. How about one of these? We're buying a lot of food. Let me, let me combine. Let me go one of these. Let me roll for garlic. We received garlic. We can also buy garlic for cheaper next time. But it's one gold. Would you pay one gold for a temporary garlic? I probably would, but this is one gold for a one one that also saves us three gold we're gonna wanna spend eventually anyway. Even if we take the loss this time, which I don't think we will. Well, I don't know, it's hard to tell. We're face. We're gonna take the loss. That kangaroo is just positioned well. The bear plus kangaroo synergy very sensible. But I think, I think this is an interesting idea. This squirrel build here. Now I think bat might actually be better later once we got more equipment popping. Let's go. 
I know there's a jellyfish. It seems tempting, right? Like, because we can immediately make it a 3-4. And sell a ladybug? At, at level 1, I do think you sell the ladybug. Which allows us to then place a jellyfish. Sell a bat. Buy a snail. Sell a snail. Buy a peacock. It's really hard to not buy an early hippo. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy an early hippo and just put it here and see if it maybe can feast. I'm going to roll. And then we're going to get an even cheaper garlic next time for our level 2 peacock. But I'm, I'm straddling too many different archetypes, I would say. Not a kangaroo. Please. Please! No, not, not a situation where we would have been saved by purchasing something else. Okay, never mind. We're fine. The garlic would have eaten that team alive, but we still s snuck away with the victory. Let me get this for one. That feels nice. These not too relevant. Roll me. Yeah, you, you gotta. You basically have to. Not that interested. Not interested at all. You know what I'm realizing is that we're v this jellyfish is dead in the water. We got nothing that's like even close, including itself. It's like if you take a peacock and a hippo, you have to choose which one to scale. We didn't choose. We just went for it. And I think the, the, the you, you can hate all you want. I'll, I'll get a two cost apple. You can hate all you want. I think we did the right thing. I think we scaled the right unit. I actually think of anything, you sell your hippo and replace it here with a kangaroo. You can hate all you like. There's a little bit of me praying going on right here. I don't think our team has scaled nearly as quickly as it would need to to get off the ground. We've been weakened, which is devastating because it overwrote the meat that was going to one for one their hippo. But it didn't overwrite the peacock's garlic. I think Peacock can beat Hippo. It's a matter of placement. It's we stay hungry, we devour. You know the deal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Cheap garlic. I'm almost like no thank you on that one. But you could take... I mean, call me a hater, okay? I think you can take cheap can. You can sell your squirrel. You can buy a lion. I do kind of want to find a way for the dolphin to fit in on the squad. It seems like the lion... For me this week, the lion is an auto-take. I'm going to take a jellyfish. I'm going to make an executive decision to sell a kangaroo because we can replace it most easily. Buy a cow. Feed this peacock. Not going to be early death touch at the front. This team is not good enough, but remember, my peacock hopefully isn't a 1220. Hopefully it's like a 4020. That's really bad. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're rocking the same strategy. Please? Oh my god, we drew. Holy cow. Even with... Wait, my lion didn't work. Because we had a cow on the squad! Okay, that's fine. At least we know now. At least we remember. I Scaling the lion makes a lot of sense as well, but for now I'm scaling the peacock. Just remember, just don't finish with the freaking cow on your team. Okay, do you want do you want a kangaroo out there? I'm going to say no. I'm going to root for something better. You can't take a second lion. It will cannibalize itself. Sell me. Buy me to sell me next round. How's that for a psycho team? This team cannot get past six. Otherwise, I, I won't believe in, in goodness if this team gets past six. So it's going to come true, but I, I wanted it to get past. <laughs> we screwed up a lot there, I think. We also didn't get many scaling pets, in, in fairness to myself, I think. Let's win early. I, I feel like Marmoset's not that good, obviously, but, like, it can win early. It can beat Crickets in the middle. Not Marmoset, sorry. Ladybug uh, can beat Crickets in the middle. How about a, a Nefarious Nose? Ironic Ice Cube or Orange Celebrity. There's a lot of good ones there. Let's be a Nefarious Nose. But despite my broken 
Wait, despite my broken nose. I'm trying to think of this song from Tangled. And my goiter and my toes. I'd really like to make a love connection. Can't you see me with a special little lady? Rowing in a rowboat down the stream. Okay, sorry. Sorry? Are we leveling a marmoset? Is anybody up? Sorry, I forgot about the phrasing. Anybody up leveling the marmoset right now or just me? I guess we are going for levels here. It's interesting. It compels me. That was a good one. Round two, we got two units left alive. They got good stats. I don't see the koala. Koala sans yak. I say I, I sleep on that one. It's just, what do you do with the tamarind? You scale it with the giraffe. Guess what? You're on the, you're on the freaking team now. Welcome to the squad. Get sold. Get bought. Welcome to the team. I don't know what's going to happen to you yet. Take a croissant. Not that interested in a pug right now. But two pugs. I don't think he's heard of second pug Pippin. <laughs> um, I'm glad we didn't lose early games. Because I think that we might be en route to lose some mid games. Or maybe, who knows, maybe this son of a gun just pops off. Tamarin got us the win. If, as long as you ignore all the damage that our other units did. So true. Marmoset's not getting sold soon, so why don't you just take some meats? Jellyfish at least has scaling potential. But if, I feel like if we're gonna roll jellyfish, skip your apple and just look for duplicate animals that we already have. In order to maximize... our chances of, of actually getting the jellyfish to pop. I, I feel like that changes our value proposition in the shop because we get disproportionate value out of... Uh, this is bad. <laughs> we get disproportionate value out of, uh, out of duplicates. Well, triplicates, I guess, but still. This is very nice. And a scaler helps us out here, whether we want to use it on Tamarin or elsewhere. Level me? I feel like this is an early enough hippo to pivot, but I don't know if we're running peacock. I got to think about it because we got to we're going to do the combine two hippos. That's kind of nutty. You can call me as crazy as you want to call me. I think you sell this ladybug. I actually think that for one round, you just run two hippos. It doesn't even set us back because we're getting a one one buff on our next turn anyway. We probably want to give you some garlic. We could add a pug to get an early level two hippo. It would also buff our jellyfish a little bit. I, I feel like we need some form of better scaling though. Forget the pug for now. I shouldn't have said forget the pug. I like that guy. I gotta remember, like this is still really early. Two hippos looks horrendous. But then in battle, it actually looked pretty good right there. I don't know if a giraffe would have changed the outcome, but... And we still got a tamarind just, like, weighing us down. Waiting for an opportunity to do something. Come on out. You, we're never going to be sad we bought a giraffe, I think. We roll for dupes. We roll for dupes. We roll for dupes. Okay, you're a dupe. We're really... Now that I think about it, we're really rolling for triplicates. We're not scaling fast enough, but with a jellyfish, I guess it happens slow, and then it happens all at once. Am I eating? Am I feasting? Am I feasting? I'm not feasting. Holy cow. Uh, uh, eating my words immediately for disrespecting the koala, and then them eating their words for disrespecting my tamarind. Okay. Go ahead, because we want the jellyfish to get it. Level one jellyfish is not going to get us there, though. I mean, I think you got to freeze a can and, and then you take your chance on these rolls. Do you know how... Maybe bad move. Do you know how much wasted opportunity cost has come from all these rolls? Like, every one round, it may not matter because I'm like, all we need to do is hit the... Save me. All we need to do is, is get uh, one dupe. But then when we don't get the dupe, it all falls apart. Okay, we've neutralized their koala. 
It's the same team. It's the same team, except this time they didn't even make it to the Tamarind. I'm going double can, okay? We know there's pivots incoming. I'm going triple can. I kind of can't believe in myself. Our team did not get much better there, but our future team, holy cow. <laughs> our future team looks insane. Our current team is garbage. But our future team, oh man. It's really hard to argue that we're keeping you when instead a dragonfly has better everything right now. You you are an 11-8. But still, I'm kind of like, I think it's your time. I think it's your time to go and you're going to give us three free rerolls. We can put a 14-7 crocodile out there. Take a free reroll. My god, is it happening? A Tamarin. Another free reroll. You have my word. Obviously, by the way, that should have gone to the hippo, but... You have my word, which is why I'm not freezing a... Well, maybe I'll freeze it just in case. If we don't lose this round, I will try to run a chicken, okay? Because I don't really have an identity for this team beyond, hey, cool, I have a hippo, which is like something we've done 20 times in the past anyway. I'm kind of like, dude, even with a loss there, I feel like we just go for the hippo. Or the chicken, sorry. You should matter. I don't know, maybe you won't. I got to figure this out. I think we're about to lose again. This is a puzzle, okay? You, okay, make a, make a super chicken. 1915 chicken. Now that's a surprise. You get out of here. Because we, we, if we scale, we'll love to have another hippo just chilling. I don't know how many rerolls we got that are free now. But level one, we love it. When I said hippo that's chilling, by the way, specifically what I mean, <laughs> though you wanted specifics, um, a level two hippo would not just be like a 9-12. It might come out as like a 15-16, depending on how things went. Another free reroll. Okay, for now, I mean, I think I'd rather have... I don't know. I don't have a good answer for you. I guess I would rather roll one more time because it's free. I don't really want to buy you yet. I guess I'd rather have a 1710 out there, and there's a little bit of uh, like praying involved here. Certainly. No, you can't freeze that and still run this team here because you need tier ones. I think we probably lose, but I think you'll be content that we tried our best, right? So we double killed a, a, a Brontosaurus for no reason. We won. Okay. Winning with a chicken is very bullish because. Your weakest chicken build is always the one you just had. I think you got to try for a level um, two chicken. So you have to like do this. You, you need to, we, we're not spending our gold very efficiently on this turn. I don't think you do enough for, I think you're gone. And then I think we're looking at like Marmoset, sell me. You're getting a 14, 13 cow out there. It's a little naive of me, but I'm hoping that we can just get this hippo to scale enough to actually like two or three for one. We still have two crocodiles for essentially no reason. Probably should find a way to fit a gorilla, but we have a very limited economic footprint right now. Okay, it's sniper v sniper. We win the battle. The cow wins. Okay, that takes us to eight. I don't think we're, we're going to have the runway to do another... Uh, to do another level 3 hippo here. Or to, to get a level 3 hippo out there. Leopard is mighty tempting in this kind of ecosystem. No tier 1s? Come on. Come on. No tier 1s? Two leopards, though. I mean, it's, it's true. It's going to do 11 damage to a random enemy. We can't fit the second one in without... Well, you know what? Actually, I would totally sell our weaker crocodile to run a second leopard, I think. I still don't think we're, we're going to outscale like these 50-50 melon armor teams, but 
We could maybe annoy some people. That math, like, basically could not have gone worse. But, you're saying there's a chance? Level 3 lionfish, holy cow, man. We draw, we draw! I just want to play more. I, I think this team has a shot. I honestly think the crocodile can probably go now. I Well, yeah, I, I'm going to say that that's true. We could always run three leopards if we got the chance. Would I be disappointed in that? I don't really think so. Sell me. Okay, seven gold. No tier ones. You got to freeze this. We could run a 2015 that gives a unit death touch. We would run that and we would not cry about it. You get your level two leopard next turn. Maybe we get another... No, we, at this point, the level two chicken is not... It's not what we need. Okay, they have their own level three hippo. That's bad. But still, considering we pivoted the chicken on lethal, I'm happy with myself and I had fun, so I'm even happier. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It's a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!